Welcome to our daily news from the Eat Club newsroom in Varna. Um, genetically modified food is a hotly debated topic, especially in Europe. But what about genetically modified textiles? This is exactly what the Japanese company Spiber has succeeded to do. It produced genetically modified uh, spider uh, silk. Uh, spider silk is uh, valued for its uh, extreme toughness. It is more durable than steel. However, it is very difficult and expensive to extract from spiders. This is why uh, the company Spiber has uh, decoded, uh, decoded the gene which uh, produces the protein fibroin in spiders and in a second step has genetically modified bacteria to produce exactly this protein. Already we have a clothing produced with the genetically modified uh, spider silk. It is a parka by US uh, outdoor company Northern Face, a parka called uh, Moon Parka, which uh, uh, embodies all the advantages of uh, spider silk. Uh, it is environmentally friendly and tougher than steel. Our next story uh, takes us to Singapore, where the World uh, Architecture Festival has taken place recently. And the award for the uh, architectural building of 2015 was uh, given to a building in Singapore called Interlace. Interlace consists of a series of building blocks which are irregularly put on top of each other so that uh, spaces uh, are created between the building parts, which are used as terraces, common spaces, and green areas. For those of us uh, old enough to remember, uh, that design uh, evokes strong memories of another famous building, namely Habitat 67, which was built as a pavilion for the uh, World Exhibition 1967 in Montreal. The architect, Moshe Saftier, uh, also put prefabricated uh, buildings on top of each other so that uh, free spaces uh, were created between them. Uh, Safdie's aim was to combine the advantages of low-cost uh, social housing with the amenities of uh, living in, uh, in uh, suburban areas such as uh, close communal relations and uh, abundance of uh, green areas. However, interlace is not just a new addition of habitat, it also reflects uh, our times by its uh, heavy emphasis on reducing the energy needs of the building. It does so mainly by a sophisticated uh, system of shading. Our final story is about the northern white rhino uh, who is uh, threatened by extinction be because only four animals are left, three females and one male called Sudan, who lives in a conservation area in Kenya, where he is watched 24 hours by armed guards. Now, uh, a new project by this conservation area and by the San Diego Safari Park, where a white uh, uh, northern rhino female is living, has been started, aiming at uh, in vitro fertilization in order to produce a new, uh, new rhino. Uh, northern white rhino babies. While this process has been done before for, um, using, uh, using this process for many endangered uh, species, it has never before been attempted uh, for rhinos. So that uh, let us uh, keep fingers crossed that uh, it, they will succeed and that we will soon see many uh, northern white uh, rhino babies. This ends our news for today. If you want to know more about our stories, uh, please go on eatglobe.com. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.